a wonderful day for either one of these teams here. But, um, obviously talking about the game, three match there, and, and everything that is writing on this for, for Aberdeen in, the, in regards to the, uh, the disappointment of the campaign. They've made the announcement, the new manager's coming in, they know what's happening, there's a wee bit more certainty. Here's Bojan Miowski, perfectly slipped in by Clarkson, and Bojan Miowski does it again at Hampden Park. It is the dream start for the Dons. Two minutes in, Miowski sends the 8,000 Aberdeen fans delirious. They believed, Peter Levin believed, and Bojan Miowski delivers. On the big stage again. That man, Bojan Majowski. It's a great goal. Too much space in that. In between the defence and the midfield there. Lovely ball from Clarkson. And I tell you, Joe Hart does ever so well to get out so quickly, but just not enough. And Majowski, when he's in that position, we said it before the game, even though he might not be in the best run of form, you still never doubt that man. He gets into the position. He shows the composure. He's got Joe Hart flinging himself right in front of him. Oh, McDonald's in trouble here. The captain gives it up to Kyogo. And there it is for Kuhn. And Celtic level things up. They weren't behind for long. Nicholas Kuhn with the simple finish. But Aberdeen, architects of their own downfall there. McDonald caught in possession. Gartman made up for it with a slight tackle on Kyogo. But the ball settled perfectly for Nicholas Kuhn to knock in his third goal for Celtic, two of which have come against Aberdeen. Well, I think you can call that a commentator's curse, would it? Terrible from Angus McDonald. You can be calm and composed, but then you can just be lackluster, and that is exactly what's happened there. Caught in possession, really should never have happened, and Kuhn is on hand to get the the rebound and stick it into the back of the net. But a real terrible moment for Angus McDonald. Look, we know that predominantly left footed, he wants to cut in, likewise with Yang here. Well, Clarkson takes, it comes all the way through to Gartman. Big save from Joe Hart. Rushed off his line. How did that one get all the way through to Stefan Gartman? Because it's not a particularly great free kick, I think. Is it Greg Taylor that's, yeah, just flicks it? I don't know how. It led to him just flicking it and not making the block. Forrest. Forrest is going to have another go here, James Forrest! That is how to introduce yourself in a semi-final. James Forrest has come off the bench with intent, and he has delivered once again for his club. What is Angus McDonald doing pulling his leg away as well? Just as this comes in, what on earth is going on there? This will be a better angle, but I mean, look, there's a real intent from James Forrest. I'm not sure why the defender doesn't try to clear that there. He's maybe concerned about deflecting it, but just clear it. Mill back to Gartman. And that's flicked on by Sockler, and here's Miowski. He's got Hoyland alongside him. Junior Hoyland to level the semi-final. It's the side netting. Well, his first touch took him wide, and from then he was always battling against it to get it back. Well, there you go, there's the front two working in tandem. You can see wonderful ball from Wielski. It's that first touch as you spoke about, Rory. The first touch takes him away from goal. Milling out to Clarkson. There's life in Aberdeen yet. Hart challenged by Miowski, it's Hoylert! And off the line by oh. Carter Vickers, and Hart grabs it on the line. Celtic survive. When it first came in, I think Miowski just gets up really well and early. I think it's fair call. And then 
Jimmy Hoyler. Unbelievable. Once it lands at him and he drops the shoulder, gets the space, he's probably thinking, destined for the back of the net. Carter Vickers in the perfect spot. Now, Iwata. Forrest, back to Iwata. Time and space to deliver the cross, their scales! Oh, big chance for Celtic. You see the space for Iwata on the edge of the box here, scales getting in. Palmer, looking early. Aberdeen getting enough bodies back. And now three on this left-hand side is Junior Hoylett. Suckler and Miovsky in the middle, it's Hoylett towards that back post! Late, late drama at the park! Absolutely, but it's this desperation from Palmer, so poor, giving the ball away. Hoylett, loads of space out here, and he goes and attacks the fullback, and what a ball into the back post for Sockler. And he makes no mistake with the finish, and you're right, he's been on the park, and he's had such an influence. He's brought an energy back to the, the Aberdeen team. Great ball, brilliant header, what a game, 2-2. Well, Esther Sockler booked for his celebrations, but I don't think he'll mind that one too much. Carter Vickers, Matt O'Reilly, now Alistair Johnson with a curling delivery. Coming in at the back post was Luis Palma. It was just out of the reach of Adam Ida. Palma got onto it. And this ball gets whipped in from Johnson. I just thought for a split second, that Ida was going to get on the end of it. I wonder whether he just gets in the way, puts off Palma a little bit. The final seconds of the 90. Here's Iwata. Tomoki Iwata. Ida. Back to Iwata. Ida. Wow. Heart and mouth moment, and Adam Ida cannot believe it. It's that touch, though, from Ida. It's just too far away from him to get the clean strike away before Jack McKenzie comes in. Just here, too far, he's stretching. Forrest wants it and gets it. And quickly on to Johnson. Oh, and it's pulled back! And turned in by Matt O'Reilly for Celtic! In stoppage time at the end of the first period of extra time! Is that the decisive moment that kills off Aberdeen's hopes. You can see James Forrest, he's got his boots on the touchline. Look at that run on the inside from Johnston. Wonderful pick out and a sensational finish there from Matt O'Reilly. And really, when the game is so deep in extra time, your body's tired. Moments like that can go right, but he makes no mistake. And I tell you, Brendan Rodgers was punching the air as well. Find one opening. Morris has done well, gets the byline. Attack by Hoyland comes to McKenzie, gets it on the right, scales with the block. Oh. In goes Hoyland, down he goes. Aberdeen! Well, no. It is a free kick to Celtic initially. Oh. Don Roberts and Luke to point to the spot there, but... Carter Vickers is on his knees. He thinks he's given the penalty away. Must have been a free kick before, I'm not sure where, but... Well, this is a huge VAR moment. I, I, don't, I just don't understand what Don Robertson's given. Before, I don't see what's... So... Is it Alistair Johnson that's on the ground, is it? There must have been something beforehand. Well, the check is complete. A roar goes up from the Celtic end. I say end, it is about 80% of the stadium. That's what they've given it for, the challenge from Junior Hoylett on Alistair Johnson there. That's an astonishing decision, it really is. No injury to James Forrest, just a tactical change to okay. get an extra centre-back on the park to try and defend situations like this that... Junior Hoyland is going to try and provide for those in red in the middle. It's a great ball in, and Aberdeen have done it again. <laughs> Once again, a Hoyland cross, and Angus McDonald, the skipper, 
rises in the back balls. In all the years, 150 years in Scottish Cup history, this is going to go down as one of the all-time greats. Aberdeen 3, Celtic 3, and twice with just seconds to go in the game. Quite incredible. Brendan Rodgers makes the change to get an extra centre-half on. You can see them there, the three of them in the middle. And he's on site, no question, he's round the back of scales. Bang, back of the net. Hoylett, what a ball, again, to that back post. Quite incredible afternoon here. And it looks like there's going to be more drama as a penalty shootout looms. Ida to get us started against Kelly Roos and Adam Ida is successful with his first spot kick. He certainly has, Jimmy McGrath. But with the noise of the Celtic fans ringing in his ears, he blocks that one out, does exactly what Ida does, and sends Hart the wrong way. Paolo Bernardo, oh, he squeezes it past Kelly Roos, who got a hand to it. Oh, was that Aberdeen's chance? Well, Joe Hart relishing this moment. Duncan! Oh, has he got in? Did Joe Hart get a touch onto the post? The weight was too much for Ryan Duncan. He'll be retiring at the end of the season. It was his 37th birthday yesterday. Joe Hart! Oh, no, he's hit the post! This is quite unbelievable at Hampden Park. The Republic of Ireland, under-21 international. Phillips is saved by Hart! Celtic are in to another Scottish Cup final. Joe Hart may have missed his spot kick, but he has come up with a big save that sends Celtic in to their 61st Scottish 